on. Everybody says. Buffalo Coast's home for classic rock. Yeah, I got it going way on. 93.3 KZOC rocks. If you were to give a grade to your routine in the morning, in the consistency, and how much time it takes you from eyes open to walking out the door, what would you give your grade? I, I, I would say that yours is probably pretty pretty streamlined. I mean, I do the same thing every morning, and I used to just get up, get in a shower, get dressed, walk upstairs, make a cup of coffee in the Keurig, and walk out the door. Mm-hmm. And I hate I mean, I did that forever, for 10 years, 12 years. And then recently I decided Keurig? that I, I wanted to start. You had a Keurig 12 years ago? Or, well, no, I, mean, I had something else 12 years ago that was a pod. I can't remember who made it. It was pretty janky, but it worked. And you could buy them in a little box at like Vaughn's. <laughs> can't remember but anyways uh so I've, I've had that same routine every morning well then i said you know what screw it i want to get up and have a cup of coffee and open my laptop and kind of look and see what's going on so in the world up a little bit Turn earlier the so then i started getting up instead of at four thirty or four forty five. i now i get up at four and i go upstairs and it sounds bad but it's really not that bad because i usually go to bed around eight nine o'clock anyways so but i wake up and it's just that 30 minutes that i have to have a cup of coffee and see what's going on on the computer, and then I go get dressed and come upstairs and leave, and I, it's, it's way better. It's way better. So I love that routine way better. The, how efficient am I? Do you feel less rushed? Yes. Okay. I felt super rushed before. When you get the cup of coffee out of the Keurig, is it, is it, do, is there a timer? I don't even know if mine's got a timer on it where it would just brew me a cup of coffee if I were to get it going. Like, you know, like your coffee pot has a timer? Yeah, I don't know. I Maybe. used to do that with the coffee pot all the time, but with the Keurig, I don't because it only takes 90 seconds. I think it to, does. It's a cup of coffee. But I have an older one. I have the first one that came out with that big, giant craft, like coffee pot mm-hmm. that I've never used. But um, I just hit the button because it, you know. Yeah, because you go do something else, and then by the time you get back, you're, it's, it's done. It pours it in 30 seconds. Do you set your clothes out the night before? The reason why is because I've... I've was reading something over no. the weekend said nine easy tips to save your time in your morning. Yeah, you I mean the clothes is the thing that I think takes the most wasted time, and that's usually why you see me wearing the same thing all the time. I think time if you have a job in which the appearance is important, then you probably would go about sorting your clothes out the night before. But yeah. if I wear t-shirts or I wear fishing yeah. shirts, I wear the same. Three pairs of they're not slacks, but they're not jeans, and I have a couple I have a couple pairs of jeans and I have shorts. And I, I have everything right there and it's just a, a continuous I mean, I have so many clothes that just sit there that I never wear, except for maybe on the weekend. What level of criticism would you receive from your wife and your friends and your family if you um had a shower or a timer in the shower? Because this article that I was reading over the weekend said get a shower timer. That you can shower faster if you invest in a timer because it will streamline your shower process. I like to take time in the morning and sit in the shower. I have a I have this weird uh, light sensor in the bathroom that comes on when you walk in. And then if nobody is making any move, like while you're in the shower for 10 <laughs> minutes, the light will go off. That- and so if I'm ever in there and the light goes off, I've known been in the shower 10 minutes and that's way too long. What is I your shower? To- what is your shower routine? Like when you get in there, what do you wash? Like what order of stuff do you wash? Cause there's I- a, there's a way to do it to where it's the most expedient. I do it. Um, oh, I like to stand under the hot water and just kind of run, you know, just uh, run the water over me. And then I grab the bar of uh, Irish Spring and I wash the entire body. No, nope. no, nope. you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. What am I doing wrong? From an efficiency standpoint, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to jump in the shower, wet your hair down. Well, I do. Shampoo. I don't your shampoo hair. every day. Okay, what well, the days that you do shampoo that uh, once a week on the weekends. Okay. When you shampoo, you're supposed to shampoo your hair, then wash it out, then condition your hair. I don't do all that. I then, literally just use a bar of soap. That's it. And then while your hair is the conditioner is like sitting in your hair doing the conditioning thing, Jeez. you're supposed to wash your body, rinse your body, then rinse the conditioner out of your hair. Okay. I'll remember that on Sunday. I don't. I just get in there. I wet my hair, and then I on grab Sunday, the bar. That's soap. the next time you're going to take it. That's the next time you're. How gonna... long does it take to take this kind of shower? Is this what you do? I, this is what I do. 
This is what you. How long, long are you in the shower for? Than you. How long are you in the shower for? Very quick, because as soon as I get in there, it's shampoo, wash shampoo off, conditioner on the hair, and it ruins my day. If I'm a little groggy, and I go out of order. <laughs> God, it drives me insane. I'd probably take about like, a five-minute shower. You have to be in there for 10 no, minutes I'm taking doing five, all that. No, i take a five-minute shower. And you're doing all that? Well, yeah, because... So what? you got to get in Are there. You say, you gotta... You're saying that your showers in which you shampoo take a, a lot longer because you're not shampooing? You're doing a lot more. You're shampooing, you're conditioning. You're, I mean, I'm just washing and getting out. Yeah, but you, you have to shampoo your hair at some point. You know, you're not supposed to use shampoo every day. It's not good for no, you. No, I don't take a shower every day. I take a shower every other day. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> and you shower at night. Yes. Yeah. You get more time. Sometimes I like to do it in the morning, though. Now the kids are older. I don't have to worry about them, like, falling out of bed or grabbing a knife off the counter <laughs> if they wake up. So I will, I will take a shower in the morning. And um, that is... This is Jeff's most efficient way to take a shower. This is everybody's most efficient way. I guarantee you, if you were to poll people on their shower routine that... Most people, or efficient people in life, would say that they do this. And you have to have a routine in the shower. I don't know if people wash their hair every day. Well, even if you don't wash your hair. Or conditioner every day. I don't wash my hair every day. Even even when I take a shower, I'll be honest with you, even when I take a shower every other day, I... I mean, it all depends on what kind of work you're in. Like, if if you're somebody who works outside and you get dirty, yeah, you got to wash your hair. Mm-hmm. But, you know, if you have a... a, a where you come into a, a building, an office... Like oh, we do, this we is a dirty ass office. We don't, we don't. Uh, there's dust on the walls. And if I don't, if I wear a hat, I wash my hair because it gets sweaty. Yes, I'm a stinky head. It's very yeah. Other than that, huh? That's interesting. I can't believe you don't have a routine in the shower. I do. I just told you the routine. Yeah, but I get not, in there, I get wet, I wash myself with soap, doing I rinse myself off, that's and I a, get out. That's the problem. You have the wrong routine. How? What's wrong about it? What do you? You don't. You don't wash your hair at all. You just let the on, water once go a week. It? Once a week. Once a week. Yeah, once a week. God, that's you what, must, That's what the the your shampoo must last forever. That's what they told you me have to do. Short hair and the you gal do that cuts my hair. She says you only need to wash your hair once a week. Yeah, every time her. I she's see a, her, she washes my hair. She's a good haircut. So you you don't ever have to wash your hair at home because you get your haircut <laughs> no, once a I week, get it like every two weeks. <laughs> Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute friendly podcast.